Conciliato na Padre del Ateneo de la Universidad de Zamboanga, si Father Carl San Juan, quien te representa si Father Ella en la Guardian, el Señor Lito Lorenzan, Lorenzana, Secretary Dato Haji Abdul Kair Alonto de Minda, y también con el uh, Vicepresidente del PIDS, el Dr. Maife Ballesteros, querido compoblanos, buenos días a todos. Um, it is with great honor that we would like to host you in the city of Zamboanga. And we hope that today's discussion on federalism as a policy option for a decentralized and inclusive development, a critical inquiry, will really lead to something that is viable for Mindanao. In 1965, the Supreme Court declared a statistical probability of the returns of the votes of Mindanao. Thereby, uh, Cesar Cortez Climaco, who the Comelec declared as winner by 30,000 votes, lost the election over his opponent who contested that in the Supreme Court. Mindanao lost an opportunity to have a voice in the Senate because the Mindanaoans supported and voted for a son of Mindanao, who I believe loved the Muslims, loved the Christians, and loved the IPs. As a member of the Klimako family, we'd like to let you know that we belong to the Tidurai tribe, particularly from Tamuntaka in Cotabato, because there were three Tidurai sisters who came over to the city of Zamboanga and intermarried and buried with the Chinese. Thus, our last name should have been Lu and not Klimako. Today we are here and I believe in the word Kadar, Kairos, God's perfect timing for Mindanao. We have never expected that the Philippines would produce a Mindanaoan president. And this is the time for Mindanao to contribute to the Philippines because it is our Kairos, it is our Kadar. 1965, when that declaration by the Supreme Court was made, my father and mother were in Manila because the family was really striving and trying to fight that contest in the Supreme Court. The decision came out on Christmas Eve that Cesar Cortez Climaco, a native son of Mindanao, lost because of statistical probability. What do you mean by that? I don't think we in our generation would ever use that statistical improbability anymore at this point. And what does this mean? The Mindanaoan voters voted for Cesar Climaco and his opponent got zero in some areas in Mindanao. Is it still possible? Is it possible? Does it happen? I believe that we were cheated out of a representation in the Senate and so the family was devastated. But out of that loss and devastation, nine months later, accidentally, a baby girl was born, and that is Maria Isabel Cortez Limaco. I celebrate my 51st birthday today, a golden and a one year, and despite of all of this, I am here to really ask you, to really critically review what is the best solution for Mindanao? In my five years as a city mayor, the second mayor of the city at my age, Ateneo de Zamboanga is home, and it will always be home because this is where I was molded from college in the Christian life community. Early on, we really learned that we must put a stake at our government. Otherwise, if the voices of the Lumads, of the IPs, of fellow Christians and citizens of Mindanao will just be kept quiet. We will not be able to grow. What have I learned from these years in terms of decentralization? Decentralization really means ensuring that local government plans are used to contribute to the people. It should be economical, it should be ecological, and it should be fully implemented. Because I believe that true development lies in good governance. 
you make use of the government funds, but bring it back to the people. Otherwise, we will have dissentment, dissenting opinions from various groups that feel they are not heard, that feel they do not have a voice, that feel that they do not have a place. And so today,